everyone. This is Nick Bianchetta again. And the purpose of this video is to address a problem that some students have been dealing with um, while calculating data on eViews. And if you received a message saying that there were insufficient amount of observations um, when you tried to calculate beta, this should fix that problem. Um, so I posted this announcement on Blackboard basically saying that if you try to view your individual stock data or the treasury bill data on eViews and you see um, NA or not applicable for any of those observations, then that is most likely your problem. So if you experience that, um, what you'll need to do is basically re-download the one-year treasury bill data as well as the data for your stock from Yahoo Finance. Um, a couple people have had problems, and for some reason on Yahoo Finance, um, they do not allow you to download the historical data for the S&P 500 index anymore. And so to make it easier for you guys, um, I've uploaded the S&P 500 data, the five-year historical data onto Blackboard. But what you need to do is the treasury bill data and your individual stock data need to be during the same time period. And to solve that problem, what you'll do is instead of just simply clicking the five year, you want to manually edit the start and end dates. So here we want it to be, and they do it in year, month, day format on thread. So once you get to this page, you'll click this box and instead of 311, we actually want 21. Or I'm sorry, this is for 2016. So we want March 1st of 2016 for the start date. And then for the end date, we want March February 1st, sorry about that, February 1st. So it should look like this. So that's gonna be the five year historical data that matches the S&P 500 data that is on Blackboard. Um, so you'll follow the same instructions as that first video, but instead of clicking five year, you wanna manually input the dates for the start and end. And so you'll do the same thing on Yahoo Finance. It's just gonna be for your individual stock. So I will use Microsoft as an example. So once you're on here, you can click on historical data. And so you'll see for a time period, instead of clicking five year, like the previous video instructed you to do, um, we want to change this to the same dates that we used previously. So for start date, we want 3-1-2016. And for the end date, we want February 1, 2021. And you can click done. Again, we want this to be historical prices and then frequency is going to be monthly. And then you can download your stock data. So at this point, all three files that you have for the S&P 500 data, the one-year treasury bill data, and your individual stock data will all be for the time period of March 1st, 2016 to February 1st, 2021. And if you reference back to the video, the eViews video, where we create the work file, um, the dates that we used for that were the same as well, March 1st, of 2016 to February 1st of 2021.
hopefully that helps.